Hey everyone, stick with the us versus herd. If it's your first time here, let the content hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for me post videos, tap the bell. And if you want to subscribe to our options trading live channel, I go live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before market open. Link is below in the description. And if you want to join the UVH fam, our community, link is below in the description to our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. If you made money today, comment below, got paid, let me know how you did. If you lost money today, comment below, learned a lesson. And if you could do me a big favor, hit the like button for the YouTube algo. Really helps out the videos, really helps push the content further lets YouTube know and say, hey, check this video out. Definitely appreciate you guys. So today was a little bit, you know, it started off really, really slow. I did lose $408 realized. And we'll go over that in a second. But I lost $408 realized in losses today. And, you know, we kind of just started chugging along. You know, if you take a look, if you take a look at the cues, you take a look at SPY, we were just kind of chugging along, not really doing anything. SPY didn't really do anything. Cues weren't really doing anything. You know, we ramped up to all time highs. And then of course the Fed came out and I, you know, that's probably my fault. I mean, actually it absolutely is my fault. I know that on Fed days, I don't perform the best. I mean, last couple of weeks, we've been killing it. Things have been going well. But Fed days, you know, you got to kind of bring it back a little bit. And I didn't bring it back. I didn't bring it back. And, and the trades that I'm, I'll go over that in a second weren't that good. But the Fed is coming in the hot and saying, oh, you know, the coronavirus is going to be way heavily on the economy, blah, 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 stuff that we already knew. Then we have, uh, you know, there's there's comments about the yield curve and the dollar and, you know, inflation. And essentially it boils down the market didn't like it. You know, you can read through all this. You could read through their minutes when you get a chance. If I go through, it, it's going to be a super long video. So I'm not going to do that. But if you want to go through it, just 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 type in just type into google you'll be fine so the market didn't like it however not overly concerned i mean we just were touching the lows from yesterday look we dipped down to the lows of yesterday yesterday we ramped back up uh we just we, we obviously didn't ramp back up because we just closed here 337.23 it's right now at the time of this video 336.95 we're chilling but really we're range bound here on spy we're just kind of pinging touch the 10 day still looking rather bullish so we haven't like completely broken down you know, we didn't come down to 330 we didn't come down to 325 we just came down to 336 337 so you know i'm not ready in my you know for the way that i'm trading i'm not ready to like load up on puts and like oh the economy is going down the crapper and this whole thing like we already know things are bad but we're going up anyway so you kind of just go with the flow right now but that doesn't mean we're not going to have a little bit of volatility. I mean, VIX and VXX were getting obliterated today up until the Fed report. I mean, and then we had the interesting part was today, what I found about the VXX, you know, this thing just started, you know, it's holding around 2420. And then we had a breakdown right before the report. People are probably like, phew, I think the, the VIX and the VXX are telling us, man, that's not going to be that bad. Fear is going away. And then we ramp up and then we ramp up even more. So, you know, VXX at 2480, I mean, it's on the lower end, but still relatively high compared to where it was, you know, pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, we're, we're under 20. Here we ramped up to 80 and we're right now at 24. Yes, we're grinding down. Volatility is low. It's But it's not like 13. It's not 10. It's not 8. It's not 5. You know, so. That being said, it got ramped up a little bit. And sometimes when you see, like what I notice is when we have pretty much going straight down, you can expect some bumps in the road. And today was that yesterday we had a little bit of a spike too that came back to normal. However, we haven't come back. We haven't come back down. We spiked and we're still still up here currently. So we'll kind of kind of see what happens. But the major mistakes, you know, kind of what I'm looking at for tomorrow what I'm looking at for the rest of the week, just kind of taking it easy. I think I learned an important lesson this week. And then my, my losses, my losses came from, I'll just say it, just being stupid, okay? My losses came from today, I traded Walmart and Home Depot, okay? Walmart I put on a couple of days ago because Walmart, here's the thinking, Walmart and Home Depot had killer earnings, yet the stock sold off. So oftentimes what happens, stock sells off, waits a couple of days, it starts grinding higher eventually, you know, kind of, kind of similar to like DKNG, except for DKNG, their earnings weren't as good as Walmart and Home Depot. And I lost some money in there going, going long Walmart. 
It broke below. It broke below 133, so I took it off. I lost 291 bucks. It's not the end. Like these are not, these are not big losses by any means. But what you don't want to get into the habit of is repetitive losses, right? You don't want to get into a situation. Yesterday I had realized gains. Today I have realized losses. You don't want to keep every day stacking like realized losses. So that's why you know obviously you cut losses. Cut losses here. Kind of see what happens. Um, Home Depot, same scenario. Best earnings, 30 years, and it broke down. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I thought I thought today we were gonna get a bounce, like right right in here. It was looking rather bullish, and then it faked out and sold off. Okay. On Apple, Apple worked out today. I was selling some premium in Apple, made about 20%. It was a small trade. You know, that's why I only made 84 bucks. You know, it popped up. And I sold, I sold the pop, and obviously came back down. This is this is why we're get, we're gonna start getting into a era probably where like if you don't take profits, you're screwed. And that's exactly what happened here. Oh, I'm gonna wait till 470 on Apple. Oh no, never mind. It came back to where it opened. Right, it opened up 58 cents higher, basically unchanged on the day, even though it did rip up to 468. So. Take your profits, take your profits, take your profits. I mean, Facebook as well. Facebook, I mean, social media f- stocks, Facebook, Twitter, and Snap, all were running. I'll be looking at this tomorrow too. Facebook, Snap, and Twitter, all were running hot. Came back to, down here. I was going to sell some puts in here, but I'm like, you know what? Let's wait and let's, let's kind of see what this Fed report does. Maybe they'll shrug it off or maybe, well, I mean, maybe tomorrow will be deep red. But also tomorrow, we're also going to have the, uh, the some numbers come in. Jobless claims tomorrow's Thursday. So jobless claims coming in last week's release came at nine hundred and sixty-three thousand. We'll see if 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 the jobs are really bad. And that's kind of why you know the Fed stuff came out bad. If the job thing comes out real bad, we, we're going to have some problems. So that's why I'm like, okay, my overnight risk I'm going to keep relatively low. I don't want to I don't want to get too too invested in what's going on here. So that's why I didn't. I, I really wanted to do some credit put spreads on Facebook, but I just, I just didn't do it because I was afraid that tomorrow is going to be deep red. If that employment number comes in and, and, see, and it seems like they're, they're throwing everything at this and you know, we're, we're coming up close to the election. Volatility is going to spike up. Things are going to happen. Numbers are going to come out. What, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, we're, I'm just taking it day by day. You know, I'm not trying to predict what's going to happen in the fall. I'm not trying to ha- predict what's happening in, in the spring. I'm not going to try to, fit, you know, any of that. Right now, I'm just taking it day by day, taking it real slow and kind of see what happens in there. So, uh, you know, when it comes down to losses like this, like Walmart and Home Depot caused the majority of my losses today. We'll talk about NVIDIA in a second here. But when it comes to that, you know, you got to stick with your strengths. And there's a reason why in, in 2019, I stopped trading Walmart because it's a POS, right? So... I, I, where, where my strengths are, like when you have losses like this, this is like a learning, learning moment here. When you have losses and then in the same sector and they're back to back, you ca- you have to evaluate and, and then go back to where your strengths are. What are your strengths? Like in the last week, I've made $1,500 on square. Keep trading square. Today, again, I came back square. A, a $244 day trade was about 25%. I went in with a thousand bucks, came out with $244. So it came out with a 25% basically. I mean, it was, a, it was a really good trade, really easy trade. And those are the type of trades, like if you look at Square Day, where I hit the home run, not gonna say it was a home run because it wasn't like thousands of percent, but relatively easy trade. You know, I bought down in here, ramped up and I sold. Okay, and that's, that's where you gotta concentrate. Kodak, I got into Kodak. I'm down $900 on this because I was being an idiot. I'm like, oh, I'll jump in, follow the price action. We'll see what happens. And what happens is you get your face ripped off. So don't trade Kodak. Don't trade Kodak. I don't even know. It was like afterwards, after it was all said and done, I was like, wait, why did I trade Kodak? Well, the interesting thing is Kodak is the type of stock. It kind of sucks you in because even if you look today, yes, it hit $13 yesterday, came back down. But look at, look at this. Look at this today. This, it came down to $780. And then all of a sudden it ramps up above nine. Probably should have exited. Honestly, I should have definitely exited because I was only down like a hundred bucks at that, or maybe even less. I don't even remember. I wasn't even watching. Like a Kodak, I already wrote off. I'm like, I'm just gonna figure something out. And here, here, here we are. So, you know, sometimes as a trader, no matter what experience level you are, whether you've been trading for a month, five years, ten years, fifteen years, thirty years, you're gonna make stupid mistakes. And obviously, this is one of them. And I, honestly, we have amazing weeks. 
I have bad weeks. I mean, everything in between. So this week turned out to be not so not so good. But what I did do here is I did go a neutral strategy on Alibaba. Alibaba has earnings tomorrow. So I sold the 265 put and the 265 call. You know, looks something like this. Expected move is 1150. I did get in 790 in premium times two. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Look, look, look looking like I want, I, I want, I want Alibaba to stay neutral. However, on Nvidia. Nvidia just had amazing earnings, and what I did earlier, where I lost 275 bucks. Okay, I thought Nvidia was going to ramp up today. I thought, oh, and Nvidia earnings today is bouncing back, has this nice price action. I played the bounce here. It just couldn't break above, and then it dipped down, and I sold around 40. What time did I sell? Nvidia. I sold at two o'clock. So I sold. I sold right in here as it was coming back up. I'm like, it, you know, it's not coming back. So I didn't want to, I definitely didn't want to hold a naked call into earnings. So I exited that trade, took the $270 hit, but I still wanted to be bullish on it. So I flipped that into a credit put spread and I sold the 505 and I bought the 500 put. But Nvidia, of course, is currently down pre market and. They did beat expectations. I mean, earnings was amazing. Data center business bigger than gaming business for the first time ever. Earnings were 2.18 per share. Estimated was $1.97. Revenue came in at 3.87 versus 3.65 billion. Overall revenue rose 50%. Revenue growth 39% in the prior quarter. I mean, everything, any, anything, everything was good, right? Everything was good. So maybe it'll ramp up, but... You know, they had the conference call already. It dropped like a rock all the way back down to 477. So it's like it looking like 477. And the, the interesting thing was I was going to go neutral on it. And this, this is how important how important it is to have the right strategy, right? NVIDIA is a good example. If you wanted to be bullish on it, what I should have done, sold premium, be more neutral, but skewed it bullish, and I wouldn't have lost that much. And now it's looking like we're going to be losing – we're going to be losing on Nvidia. Let's take a look. Nvidia, if it opens up around 480, we're going to be losing like 250. I mean, it's not going to it's not going to kill you, but it you know, like I said, you don't want to keep that going. You do, you want wins to keep going. And thankfully, you know, last week I had a lot of wins. This week kind of been a little shaky. So, now that this is happening, I have to take a step back and say, "Hey, what's happening here? What can I do to be a better trader? What can I do what am, where am I losing? Where am I winning? And start focusing. And that's how you bring yourself back. And so tomorrow I'm going to be looking at social media stocks. I'm going to be looking at NVIDIA. I sold some pretty premium in LB. That looking like it's going to pan out. I'll be looking at Alibaba as well. So if you watch this video to the end, comment, watch to the end. And as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus her.